Good day everyone. Today I will discuss the lesson 3 in business marketing which is the marketing environment. In this chapter, you'll see the marketing operates in a complex and changing environment. Other actors in this environment like suppliers, intermediaries, customers, competitors, publics, and others may work with or against the company. Major environmental forces like demographic, economic, natural, technological, political, and cultural shape marketing opportunities, pose threats, and affect the company's ability to engage customers and build customer relationship. To develop effective marketing strategy, a company must first understand the environment in which marketing operates. A company's marketing environment consists of the actors and forces outside marketing that affect marketing management's ability to build and maintain successful relationship with target customers. Like Microsoft, company cons constantly watch and adapt to the changing environment or in many cases, lead those changes. More than any other group in the company, marketers must be environmental trend trackers and opportunity seekers. Although every manager in an organization should watch the outside environment, marketing or marketers have two special aptitudes. They have discipline methods, marketing research, and the marketing intelligence for collecting information about the marketing environment. They also spend more time in customers and competitors' in environment. By carefully studying the environment, marketers can adopt their strategies to meet new marketplace challenges and opportunities. The marketing environment consists of a microeconomic a micro environment and a macro environment. The micro environment consists of the actors close to the company that affects its ability to engage and serve its customers. The company, suppliers, marketing intermediaries, customer markets, competitors, and the public. While the macro environment consists of the larger societal forces that affect the micro environment like demographic, economic, natural, technological, political, and cultural forces. We look first the company's microenvironment. What is microenvironment? Marketing management's job is to build relationship with customers by creating customer value and satisfaction. However, marketing managers cannot do this alone. In microenvironment, there is a company. In designing marketing plans, marketing management takes other company groups into account. Groups such as top management, finance, research and development, purchasing, operations, human resources, and accounting. All of these interrelated groups form the internal environment. Top management sets the company's mission, objectives, strategy and policies. Marketing managers ha make decisions within this broader strategy and plans. Suppliers form an important link in the company's overall customer value delivery network. They provide the resources needed by the company to produce its goods and services. Supplier problems can seriously affect marketing. Marketing managers must watch supply availability and cost. Supply shortages or delays, natural disaster, and other events can cause sales in the short run and damage customer satisfaction in the long run. Rising supply costs may force price increases that can harm the company's sales volume. Most marketers today threat their suppliers as partners in creating and delivering customer value. The marketing intermediaries. The marketing intermediaries help the company promote, sell, and distribute its product to final buyer. They include reseller, physical distribution firm, marketing services agency, and financial intermediaries. 
Resellers are distribution channel firms that help the company find customers or make sales of them. These include wholesalers and retailers that buy and resell merchandise. Selecting and partnering with resellers is not easy. No longer do manufacturers have many small independent resellers from which to choose. They now face large and growing reseller organizations such as Walmart, Target, Home Depot, Costco, and Best Buy. These organizations frequently have enough power to dictate terms or even shut smaller manufacturers out of the large market. Physical distribution firms ha help the company stock and move goods from their points of origin to their destination. Marketing services agencies are the marketing research firms, advertising agency, media firms, and marketing consulting firms that help the company target and promote its products to the right market. Financial intermediaries include bank, credit company, insurance company, and other businesses that help finance transactions or insure against the risk associated with the buying and selling of goods. When we say the competitors, the marketing concept states that to be successful, a company must provide greater customer value and satisfaction that, than its competitors do. Marketers must do more than simply adapt to the needs of target consumers. They also must gain strategic advantage by positioning their offering strongly against competitors' offering in the minds of the customers. No single competitive marketing strategy is best for all companies. Each firm should consider its own size and industry position compared to those of its competitors. Large firms with dominant position is an industry can use certain strategies that smaller firms cannot afford. But being large is enough. There are winning strategy for large firms but there are also losing one and the public and the small firms can develop strategies that give them better rates of return than the large firms enjoy okay we go to the macro environment the company and all of the other actors operate in larger macro environment of forces that shape opportunities and post threats to the company even the most dominant companies can be vulnerable to often turbulent and changing forces in the marketing environment. Some, some of these forces are uncontrollable. Others can be predicted and handled through skillful management. Companies that understand and adapt well to their environments can be thrived. Okay, what is demographic environment? A demographic environment is the study of human population in terms of size, density, location, age, gender, race, occupation, and other statistics. The demographic environment is the major interest of marketers because it, it involves people, and people make up markets. The world population is growing at an exclusive rate. It now extends 7.1 billion people and expected to grow more than 8 billion by the year of 2030. The world's large and highly diverse population poses both opportunities and challenges. Changes in the world demographic environment have major implications for business. Marketers keep a close eye on demographic trends and developments in their market. They analyze changing age and family structure, geographic population shifts, educational characteristics, and population diversity. The economic environment is a market requires buying power as well as people. The economic environment consists of economic factors that affect consumer purchasing power and spending patterns. Marketers must pay close attention to the major trends and consumer spending patterns both across with, within their world markets. 
Natural environment involves the physical environment and the natural resources that are needed as inputs by marketers or that are affected by marketing activities. At the most basic level, unexpected happenings in the physical environment, anything from weather to natural disaster, can affect companies and their marketing strategy. When we say technological environment, it's perhaps the most dramatic force now shaping our destiny. Technic technology has really such wonders as antibiotic, robotic surgery, electronic smartphones, and the internet. It also released such horrors as nuclear missiles, chemical weapons, and assault rifles. It has released such mixed blessing as the automotive, mobile, television, and the credit cards. Our attitude toward technology depends on whether we are more impressed with its wonder or its blunders. The political and social environment. Marketing decisions are strongly affected by development in political env environment. The political environment consists of laws, government agency, and pressure groups that in influence or limit various organizations and individuals in a given society. Legislation regulating business even the strongest advocates of free market economies agreed that the system works best with at at least some regulation. Well-conceived regulation can encourage competi competition and ensure their market for goods and services. Thus, government development public policy to guide commerce set of laws and regulation that limit business for the good of society as a whole. Almost every marketing activity is uh, subject to wide range of laws and regulation. And lastly, the cultural environment. The cultural environment consists of institution and other forces that affect the society's basic values, perception, preferences, and behavior. People grow up in a particular society that shapes their basic beliefs and values. They absorb a worldview that defines their relationship with others. And that's all for today. Thank you.